Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. I'm Sky, currently traveling in Thailand, so if you want to join me on my adventures, be sure to click the subscribe button. Today we are in Chiang Mai's old city in search of three things. A nice coffee shop with good coffee, a beautiful temple, and a traditional Northern Thai dish known as Khao Soi. So without further ado, let's go and explore this wonderful city. our morning coffee and breakfast at this beautiful cafe called Fern Forest Cafe. In all honesty, I just googled Chiang Mai's best rated cafe and it brought us to here. And I'm very, very glad we chose to come here because it's super cute. Let's see what the coffee and breakfast tastes like. That is good coffee. Sometimes in Thailand, the coffee is quite strong and I'm really sensitive to coffee, so I like to find a nice lighter coffee and obviously always go for a latte because it won't be as strong. But yeah, the coffee's really good. Is there a good way to eat a bagel? I'm not sure. <laughs> An elegant way. The bagel's kind of chewy, which I've never had before, but the salmon's beautiful. It feels really fresh. Yeah, nice. And for this salmon bagel, it was 225 baht. So a little bit more expensive, but tasty nonetheless. You notice that when you come to Thailand, that the cafe culture is huge. Obviously with Chiang Mai being a digital nomad hotspot, having a nice cafe with good coffee, good Wi-Fi and good food is a no-brainer. But not only for digital nomads, it's also a good place for the local Thai people or anyone just to come and have a nice little coffee and a chat and enjoy the day. So now breakfast slash brunch is done. We are gonna hop on the bike and take you to explore more of the old city and maybe find a temple or two. This is our little Pixie PCX that we bought, actually rented. <laughs> it was, for this bike it was, how much was it? 4,000. Four, oh, 4,000 per month for this bike, which is actually cheaper than what we was paying in Phuket. So for me, one of the main reasons why I wanted to come to Chiang Mai is because it's a lot more cultural, it has a lot of more ancient history, and I find that super interesting. So we are on our way to, well, we're just outside of Wat Ched Luang, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, which is a temple right here in the center of the old city. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is what I live for. These moments here, exploring historical, religious places like this. This is Wat Chedi Luang, I think I've pronounced that right. And it is still a practicing Buddhist temple. So what did you find out about this place, Charlie? So this temple was actually built 600 years ago. It's bang in the middle of Chiang Mai. Like in the, in, the, in the middle of the old town. They've got some cool like Buddhist chat thing where you can speak to the Buddhists and ask them questions. So we've seen a lot of temples in Thailand. We've seen a lot but I actually think this one might be the best one out of all the ones that we've seen why I don't know this feels a bit like it feels different it feels more like we're in like a different you know like we're in Chiang Mai it feels a bit more cultural first of all and this is super old and I'm into my history and to think like this was built 600 years ago it's just mad isn't it so yeah I like it. This is why I 
love committed temples because they can literally make anything simple as a light look beautiful. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? Mm. If you're subscribers, want to know how hot it is <laughs> and take a look at the shirt. Oh wow, it's super sweaty. With some super sweaty chest. <laughs> So you arrive at one temple and are absolutely blown away by its beauty and then you walk 100 meters less than round the corner and you find even more beautiful spots and you're blown away even more. It is an unbelievably beautiful temple. It has the finest of fine details which make it even more spectacular. As you can see, there are loads and loads of food, street food stores and drinks in the temple, but it is just too hot right now, so we're going to go find somewhere to drink and sit. I feel like we could be caught in a traffic jam here. And this is how you do it when you're in Thailand on a bike. You've got to weave through all the cars. craving ice cream so we googled what the best ice cream was in Chiang Mai and this place Seven Senses had really good reviews on Google so we've come here to Seven Senses gelato is it gelato 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 gelato, gelato. 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 same thing tomato tomato <laughs> and um, we are in Nimenhaimen which is a pot just outside of Chiang Mai old city and I have seen online that a lot of people have said that this is kind of like the digital nomad hotspot. You'll see a lot of foreigners around this area. It's a good place to stay because there are loads of cafes, restaurants, places like this to come and check out. So that's where we are right now. About to enjoy a bit of strawberry cheesecake ice cream. And for this one scoop of ice cream, it was 89 baht, which is around two pounds. Cheers. The heavens have opened, so it looks like we're sat here eating ice cream all day. Yay! <laughs> oh wait, is it stopping? Probably. It might be stopping. It literally rained for less than 10 minutes, so we're gonna hop back on the bike and go find some cow soy. I'm chicken. super excited. Cow soy chicken? Cow, cow soy beef? Cow soy shrimp? I don't know. Hopefully it's as good as what it says online because I can't wait. So we are at Kat's Kitchen, which is a local Thai restaurant that is situated just outside of Chiang Mai, Old City. We came here before and the food was delicious. Portions were massive and we noticed that they did cow soy chicken. So we thought we'd come back today and give it a try. Here's a bit of historical information about cow soy. It actually comes from Burma, where a Chinese minority group called Chin Ho bought the dish with them when they fed from China. That's really interesting. The famous cow soy has arrived. It smells pretty similar to a masterman. It smells delicious. And also, what are these? These are noodles, but they look like crisps. They literally are like crisps. Some sort of crisp. <laughs> ah, I'm so stupid. Here are the noodles. The noodles are at the bottom. And then these are just, I don't know what these are, but yeah, the noodles are actually at the bottom. Anyway, let's give it a try. Firstly, I'm gonna try the sauce. <clears throat> spicy? Is it spicy? I asked for medium, but in Thailand that means spicy. It's not spicy when you first like put it in your mouth, it's spicy when you swallow it. It's like got that kick at the back of your throat. It tastes like a in between of a masaman and a panang because it's got that kind of like lemongrass sort of flavour. But it's really nice and like creamy as well. Noodles, chicken, 
cabbage, red onion and some crispy stuff on top. If anybody knows what this crispy stuff is, please let me know in the comments because it's actually super tasty. So I'm not surprised that this cow soy tastes amazing because it has a very good reputation and it definitely lived up to it. Though I do think the next time I try it, I want to try it at somewhere that is like known for cow soy. So if you know any good spots in Chiang Mai that do cow soy, drop them in the comments box and let me know where I should go. And the final price for that meal was... 320 baht, right. which is actually mad because in Phuket was paying double the prices. So I had a Massaman omelette, rice, two coconuts, you had the cow soy, 320, which is like eight pound total. Mad ting. Madders. <laughs> So we've brought you on the top of our condo to show you this amazing view over the whole of Chiang Mai. It is seriously amazing. It's been such a nice first full day in Chiang Mai exploring. What do you think it is like living here compared to Bangkok? Compared to Bangkok? Mm -hmm. uh, well, I don't like Bangkok, so <laughs> <laughs> for me, this is a lot better. It's like. It's kind of like Phuket, but in the city kind of thing, yeah. in a weird way. Like it's got the same kind of traffic to some extent, maybe a bit busier, but it definitely seems relaxed. It's nice, the temples are good. It's nice to have the mountains like surrounding the city as well. Yeah. Um, it is, I, I'm really enjoying it so far. We've only been here for a few days, so I definitely recommend it. Yeah. I haven't, we haven't met like any anyone yet though like we've not really no. joined any nomad meetups or anything so so if you're in Chiang Mai and want to meet us don't holla. contact <laughs> no, in my opinion it's it's really nice it's convenient you've got beautiful scenes you've got beautiful cafes you've got beautiful restaurants it's just a thumbs up from me for sure yeah no it's nice it's good so thank you so much for watching this vlog if you don't want to miss out on any further Chiang Mai vlogs and even more of Thailand then be sure to Hit the subscribe button and well there's no bell anymore but like the video <laughs> and if you want to follow us on instagram for more daily content then you can follow him at charlie limford and me at sky samuels see you in the next one Boom. ciao